Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching once again. Today, we're going on a little bit of an adventure. I'm actually meeting up with an old buddy of mine. His name's Dylan, and uh, he tells me there's a, a creek not too far from my house that actually has some giant ones that will eat a frog. And if you guys know me, that's music to my ears. I got my brand new frog fishing setup, which you guys are about to see. Actually, a setup I've wanted for a very, very long time. And uh, after watching this video, let me know if you guys want me to review the setup as a whole. All I know is we got quite the hike ahead of us and uh, what lays below in this tiny little creek is to be determined, but I'm hoping we can get a big one to come up on a frog. As you guys know, that's just about my favorite way to catch them. Dylan should be here any minute and then we're gonna hop in my truck and go to our first destination. Oh, look who it is. Wanna go fishing? No. Do you think I'm gonna catch any? Yep. You have a gut feeling I'm gonna catch one? Yeah. Well, actually, usually when Lottie tells me she has a gut feeling, I, I end up catching a big one. So we'll see what happens. Well, we have arrived at the edge of the woods is what it looks like to me. But Dylan, like I said, goes on these crazy little adventure stuff that I need to get into more. But he says what lies below this uh, long trail and uh, stretch of forest is a beautiful looking creek with some big old bass. So we're gonna walk through the jungle and see if we can't make it happen. Well, the single setup of choice Dylan says this is the way to go, so I'm gonna take his word for it. Got a 200 size reel, seven gear ratio, which I'll talk about in a future video. And uh, my new beautiful Leviathan frog rod. And then a large spro popping frog, actually the exact same frog I caught the 27 inch bass on Ladybird. So figured since I have confidence in it, I might as well throw it never know what lives in these little creeks in texas there could be some absolute monsters we're gonna try our best looking at this extremely steep cliff and uh being that it's 100 degrees outside here in central texas i realized that i should probably go back to the truck and get some water so that's exactly what i'm gonna do so we don't die of dehydration because the texas heat will get you as will these giant spider webs with huge spiders living in them. It's hot. This is why you wear a tank top this time of year. So I'm dying out here. It's also why you don't forget your water in your truck. But luckily, I got a full case. So I think we're good. So a cast and something like freaked out and made a big bubble. We have alligator snappers in there. There's alligator snappers here? Mm -hmm. Why is that? I think it, they do really well in shallow environments. They can't like swim up. Plus so, so much food, food, dude. They're just like rocks on the bottom. Yeah. Right? Well, that's a water moccasin. You can tell by how high he's riding on top of the water. And uh, that's just something you got to share the water with when you're down in these swampy Texas creeks. And not only is there water moccasins like that guy over there. Dylan, you say there's giant alligator snapping turtles? The alligator snapper. Pretty much everything in Texas can hurt you if you let it. But uh, here we are just walking around like, like it's nobody's business. You do though, by all means. Yeah. The alligator snappers are like snapping things. Really? Huh. Alligators just look more. Yeah, it's just, it's, its mouth is in one spot, and it just throws up numerous things. Common snappers come around at the front. Huh. 
Yeah, it's definitely too deep to wade right here. Really? Yeah, four times a year ago. Oh. You caught it? Yeah, it did. That's not a bad one. Oh, oh dude. my god. Dude. Fish. fish on. Got a big one. That's like a fish. <laughs> oh my god. Well, guys, that is a big bass in this oh, tiny man. creek. I got him. Holy cow. Come here, girl. Oh my God, I hope you guys saw that. That is a big one, dude. <laughs> dude, that's a seven. Yeah. Back. Oh my God. Dude. Look at the side of that bass, guys. Holy cow. Well, was walking it just right out in this deep pool and that beast of a large male. Dude, holy cow. Dylan was not kidding. There are some big ones in here. That is a brute. All right, we're gonna get some photos and then release this giant large mouth back to this tiny pool where she, where she came from. She's every bit of six and a half. I am shocked on the frog, baby. One last look, easy six pounder. Good way to break in the new setup. And man, she choked that frog. All right, let's unhook her and then let it go. Take her over to some clear, clean water because we muddied this up. One last look at this beautiful, giant, creek largemouth bass, only in Texas. God, that is one pristine, beautiful, healthy bass. Let's let her go. Look at the shoulders on that thing. Good girl. Look at her. Unreal. Well, that just happened. Are you gonna get another one? See over there? You can see her far away. Giant shoulders. I'm I'm pretty speechless right now. Thanks for, for having me out. We're gonna Dylan says there's more like that, and uh, I'm in full belief because honestly that just happened. So we're, we're gonna keep after it and see if we can't get one bigger. It's Dylan's turn now. Well, I, Dylan was not kidding when he said we were going into the middle of the jungle, head to toe, covered in forest. But as I was telling him, get absolutely ripped up by all different kinds of thorns and plants and everything in between for five hours straight to catch a fish that size. So even though to some of you, this might look undesirable, what I live for. Dude, pause it. <laughs> Watch that guy just came up right behind. Oh, it's a guad. Right? Watch that guy come up and he Dylan's throwing up. Look at that. The wake walker. Little guad watched him come up and eat it right there. That was cool. <laughs> yeah, dude, I got you. He was burning it up to take a new cast and I was like, oh, you got a, is that a fish on you? Hey. Just a dink, but yep. aggressive little sucker. The uh, Texas State fish right there. Guadalupe. <laughs> oh, another giant. No way. No way. This is just like yesterday. Well, I know you guys saw there's one right there cast on. I was uh, talking about the Texas State Fish Guadalupe bass after Dylan just caught that and this chunk came up and swallowed the big spro popping frog. That is unreal. Two big ones so far. Well, I don't even know what to say. I just, I came to this creek on a complete whim and uh, not expecting anything just cause that's how you gotta go into fishing and sometimes every once in a while you get rewarded and uh, this girl is a perfect example of it let her go back to where she came from boom see you girl well, we made it back to a uh, home base i'm gonna need like 
five of these. Give me, give me, give me. All right. Well, I'm pretty exhausted. After that creek excursion, I uh, decided to go night fishing on the lunar eclipse out on my buddy's boat and we stayed out till like 3 a.m. My buddy actually ended up catching a giant bass. In conclusion, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, if I'm being honest, that was actually one of my favorite fishing excursions in a long time. I've been so stuck on my boat and the lakes, just getting away from the city for a day and just hiking through the woods to uh, catch a fish of that size and just enjoy the beauty of nature and the water moccasins and snapping turtles is really what it's all about. If you guys have anything else you'd like to see, please let me know down below. Please stick with me because there's plenty more like this coming soon. Peace.